Hello beautiful angels, it is Olivia Grace and I'm back with another video. Welcome back to the Master Manifestors channel. I do have coaching and other offers that will be in the description, um, custom affirmations. I make custom guided sat scenes for those of you who have trouble visualizing um, and um, guided revision scenes for those of you who you know want to revise something in the past. So all of that information will be in the description, but today I am talking to you guys about these three people are pretty much the heavy hitters when it comes to um, YouTube coaches um, teaching manifesting in SP. Um, and their methods are, they're all pretty like similar in a way. Um, obviously it's having to do with changing your subconscious beliefs. Um, changing who you identify as. They all three have that in common, um, but their specific way of going about it is different for all three of them. And I wanted to, I really, um, I really personally found value in one more than the others, um, but they all three are amazing coaches. Of course, they're all three um, very knowledgeable, very um, just helpful on the topic of manifesting an SP. But I want to talk to you guys because I know that there's so much information to consume on YouTube and it can get kind of confusing. And what a lot of people do is we'll do one thing and, you know, do that for maybe a few weeks. And then we're switching over to another thing and we'll do that for a few weeks and then we'll switch to another thing. And while that's not necessarily problematic, um, I, as we know, you know, what really gets it is persisting, right? So just for this may just clear up like for those of you who are wondering like am i doing this right or which one resonates best and i'll just tell you guys from my experience um so let's start with um dylan james dylan james his approach to rewiring your subconscious is his nighttime sleep tapes listening to the sleep tapes um as you fall to sleep dylan james also really focuses heavily on confidence and knowing like valuing yourself knowing your value knowing your worth that is a lot of what he focuses on um which if you think about law of assumption that works because you are changing who you say that you are and you're doing it in a kind of backdoor way so for me i would recommend dylan james honestly i mean if you don't like i know for me previously it was difficult but uh my phone disconnected <laughs> My Wi-Fi. Um, I don't know where it left off or where it cut off, but basically I was saying how Dylan James focuses on um, confidence and self-worth. Um, and But so what I got from Dylan James, because Dylan James' focus in all of his videos is kind of opposite to what a lot, like what Sammy Ingram, for instance, teaches. Um, for him, it's like do the tapes and then go about your business, you know, kind of go about your life um you know doing whatever you're doing regularly so i feel like if you're a number one if you're a busy person who doesn't really have time i mean really we all have time to affirm but i'm not going to get into that yet um but if you're if you're a person who basically um maybe doesn't have trouble with a lot of thoughts during the day or isn't very triggered by the situation or you know something like that i think that that can work for you but what i will say is that with the tapes number one i do feel like it takes longer by just using strictly the tapes and not doing any conscious rewiring of your subconscious i just feel like i feel like it's it can be done and i feel like obviously people get results using those tapes um but i do feel like it can take a little bit longer than consciously rewriting your story and i'll get into that in a second um but really just disclaimer you guys i want to say you guys this is so important y'all that it doesn't matter what you really do i'm telling you guys from my experience what worked best for me and i'm going to go into detail as someone who studies manifestation and is going through this myself seeing the changes in myself i want to share with you guys but you guys everything is so individual okay most of you guys on this channel in this group most of you guys are into law of assumption 
and we look back at law of attraction like law of attraction why did we ever even do that that was so whatever but there are people that even get results with just law of attraction there are people that get results with each one of these people's methods there are people that get results doing whatever so really what it is because we're all individuals you have to find what really works for you you have to find what really resonates with you um and that's kind of what this video is supposed to be like trying to help you do but that is what's important you guys because every single coach is going to tell you that their way is the best way that this is all you need to do here's what it is and they're telling you that because that's their experience but everybody's everybody is different everybody's mental patterns are different everybody's you know beliefs are different everybody's uh you know resistance is different on different levels with different topics it's a lot of factors that go into what works for you right so it's it's imperative that you do not take people's word for it because they say well i'm the best and everybody else says they're the best you want to make sure that it resonates with you okay so like i said for dylan james um definitely a great way i have seen results using his tapes i i think by like the second or third night i saw results just using his tapes because i started off with dylan james because i had already like been in his channel i hadn't really been into kim velez or sammy ingram because i was never into sp stuff um now kim velez kim velez focuses on self-concept she's like the self-concept queen that's what she's kind of known for um her meditations and everything like that kim velez she kind of gives me like i won't say like a motivational speaker vibe i won't say that it's more of like i don't know but she's she's really knowledgeable on talking about self is reflecting out yourself is reflecting out which it, obviously all of these people are talking about but that is specifically what she focuses on dylan james focuses on sleep tapes and confidence that's what he's talking about throughout the day when you're not you're really feeling yourself you're knowing your worth kim velez is talking about your self-concept not only feeling yourself but what is your self-concept in relationship to relationships to men to marriage to your sp specifically what is your thoughts and your identity about yourself in relevance to all of these people right so that's what kim velez really focuses on she's very knowledgeable about what she's talking about obviously she's very good at what she's talking about and she's kind of someone that i would say is kind of soothing like she's she's telling you what you need to hear but she's kind of telling you in a way of look i've been there you know she clearly is somebody who has done this with herself you know she she understands like the emotion that you're going through but here's what you need to do um so i really like kim velez too because she's focusing on these both not just your self-concept which i think dylan james he doesn't really call i mean he calls it self-concept but he talks about just confidence which is the, your self-concept sort of but she talks about not only your self-concept with yourself but you have a concept with self of self with all of the things in your reality including your sp even you have a self-concept towards men or women or whoever you're attracted to but then you even have a separate self-concept when it comes specifically to your sp which is why you also want to affirm for that you might think that every man in the world loves you but you might think your sp hates you you have to work on that right and then let's get to sammy ingram now sammy ingram's obviously again like i said all of these people are teaching the same thing they're teaching manifestation they're teaching change your inside change your story change your beliefs your outside will change sammy's approach is different which i did not know this about sammy but her technique of like consistent persistent affirming is like something she kind of made up which is i mean affir affirming is not made up obviously we know that's been around forever but the specific way that she teaches it to consistently persistently continue 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 all day affirming or not even just all day but taking specific blocks of time to consistently affirm for whatever it is that you want whether that be self-concept whether that be the sp whether that be anything now what i found with this you guys is this is honestly you guys so effective and let me tell you why the thing about doing the tapes and going about your business or doing even the meditation and going about the business about your business is that your story is continuing to unfold in your mind okay and this is what's manifesting because yes you are manifesting who you say that you are yes you are manifesting your self-concept but really you guys and it's crazy but i can confirm this 
you are manifesting the thoughts that you are thinking. A lot of the thoughts that we're thinking are kind of going past us because we think so many thoughts during the day, right? But when you have, when you're trying to change your self-concept or you're trying to have a completely different idea about someone or something that you're trying to manifest and your regular idea is complete opposite to that, even if you're doing the tapes at night, even if you're, you know, um, doing the meditations or, you know, trying to work on your self-concept, if during the day your story continues to be the same, you continue to react the same way, you continue to think the same thoughts, you continue to feel the same way, and then you're kind of going in at the specific time with the technique, but then at the rest of the day, you're still in your story, right? And this is the, this is so huge, you guys, being in your story, okay? Even being in the story of I'm manifesting an SP, which I talked about in one of my um, other videos. I'm manifesting an SP, I'm manifesting an SP. You have to switch from manifesting an SP to I've manifested the SP before it manifests, you guys, okay? So with, with Sammy's consistent um, affirming, you guys, I'm not even going to lie because I started using it, I started using it with, um, the SP stuff. And I saw, I saw results like immediately, like I saw results immediately. So I started using it in other areas of my life that were difficult for me and were triggering for me and also saw results immediately. You guys, I've been doing it maybe for just a couple weeks now and I've seen so many shifts, but the biggest shifts that I've seen is in myself. These things that were so kind of mystified to me and things that I couldn't really understand why I was having trouble manifesting them I've been able to now change, like I've been able to number one, because when you're affirming all day, right? When you're affirming all day, because the thing is you guys, affirming is just your thoughts. You're affirming all day anyway. You're affirming when you're in the car and someone cuts you off and you say, oh my God, drivers are such assholes. That's an affirmation. That is something that you are projecting into your reality, okay? When you're when when somebody, I don't know, doesn't hold the door for you, oh my God, nobody ever does anything nice for me. That is an affirmation. That is, and when you look at the things that you say, if you look at the things that you say to yourself all day, you can see your self-concept right there. You can see what you believe about yourself. You can see your assumptions, okay? So when you go in and you start consistently, persistently affirming, first of all, when those old thoughts come up, because now, like, I like to think of it like this. I want you to think of it as if you have a black coffee pot, right? Or a black pot of coffee. It's all black, but you want it to be white, okay? You want it to be white. So you're pouring the cream in there, but it's going to take a lot of cream to get this black coffee to be white, right? Right? What we do with a lot of manifesting is we pour, 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 pour. We might even pour for a while, but when we look, we're like, okay, well, it's just light brown. It's not white yet. It's not working. But you have to continuously pour because you have to realize, and the reason why I say the black coffee, the black coffee is your story. The black coffee is the dominant thought that you've been having for 20, 30, 40, 50, however many years that you've been alive, okay? It's that story that's been playing. It's very, you know, it's in you. So... A few affirmations here and there is not going to touch that. You know what I mean? Even listening to the tapes. And like I said, for some people, it works because you guys see the comments that works for people, you know, and I feel like if you are a person that can go into your day and detach from what's going on and you're not really thinking about it, then that can work for you. But for a lot of people, especially people in the SP community, there's a lot of kind of obsessing and thinking and all of this going on during the day as well. So rather than letting those thoughts go unchecked, when you're coming in consistently with your new story, you're, you're, you're battling those old thoughts. And as you continuously battle those old thoughts, you, your identity starts to shift. Your subconscious accepts it. Your subconscious accepts it because it doesn't matter what it looks like right? Your subconscious accepts the new story that you're imprinting on it, just like it, it accepted the old story, right? It's accepting the new story. So it starts, you start to identify differently. All right. You do that automatically. You know, obviously you guys affirm for your self-concept as well. That's important. Sammy also talks about that. Affirm for your self-concept, but also affirming for your SP and whatever else situation that you're in, whatever else completely, like for me, you guys, it just made me so aware of how often I was actually telling the old story. How often in my brain was I thinking from 
Okay, because the, your, your affirmations are thinking from the end, right? And I think I don't think I made a video. I need to make a video about that. But briefly, thinking of is, oh my gosh, I can't wait for this to happen. Oh, it'll be so nice when that happens. Oh, well, whatever, whatever. That's how most people think of their desires. You have to think from the state of having it. It won't be nice when you have it. It's nice now that you have it. Okay, now that you have it, what are your thoughts that you're thinking? Now that you have your SP or you have your uh, millions of dollars or you have your dream job or you have whatever, what are your thoughts from that place? Because the state that you're in right now of not having your SP, your thoughts automatically come there, come from that, okay? It's automatically coming from that. And that's what states are. I have a video on states, but it's like I said, it comes com equipped with everything that that state contains. It comes equipped with thoughts, beliefs, assumptions, feelings, right? The state of having comes with that as well but you switch to that state so much quicker when you are on top of your thoughts when you're on top of and being vigilant with your thoughts now a lot of people say and i was one of these people i don't want to affirm all day i don't want to do that all day i don't have time to do that all day i'm not going to sit here and do that but the thing is you guys you're thinking all day anyway so really what it is is like it's really like a very strict mental diet because you first become aware of what am i thinking anyways and then you're being vigilant and being sure that you are thinking thoughts from the state. The other thing that I really like about Sammy's way, and it and it really helps with the SPs because an SP situation, you guys, this it is so it can be very emotionally jarring, right? And pretty much everybody in manifestation teaches, you know, your feeling is going to manifest. So that can be really uh really off-putting it can make it really scary it can make it really like oh my god I'm, I'm ruining it like that's you know you you feel like I'm doing something wrong because I'm having an emotion and it's like well your heart is broken you're gonna have emotions you know what I mean a lot of you guys be going through some really difficult situations with the SP seeing some really difficult things you're gonna have emotion you know we're not robots but Sammy's way of teaching that it doesn't matter what you're feeling it doesn't matter even if you're crying even if you're angry even if you're whatever as long as you continue to tell yourself which is very practical is another thing because i feel like this is something that we can do even with dylan james and you know kim bless too but with the affirming it's something that is so easy to do you can do this anywhere you don't have to be at night you don't have to be at home. You don't have to be in a meditative position. You can be doing anything. You can be in a conversation with somebody that you don't really want to be talking to and having a completely different conversation in your head about getting exactly what you want. You know, it's something that's so accessible that you can just do you can just do it whenever you want to. And the more that you do it, you guys, the quicker it really changes because it, it changes you. It's not even about changing the outside still it's not so much about changing the outside it's about you keep you continuously telling yourself this new story identifying with this new story your outside obviously is going to shift but it's just so much easier to like i said really drown that black coffee with the cream if you want it to be white you have to drown that with the cream you can, you can pour a little bit here and a little bit here and a little bit here and a little bit here, but it's going to take long, you know, and we don't want stuff to take long. We want stuff quick, you know, so continuously, the continuous affirming you guys, no matter what, no matter even when you're upset, even when whatever is going on, doesn't matter. Continuously affirm, 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 affirm. Hey, sissy. <laughs> um, thank you my hair I dyed it yeah you guys first time ever but um yeah affirm 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 you guys affirm so in conclusion <laughs> in conclusion I absolutely recommend Sammy Ingram I know a lot of Nevillers hate on her I don't know why well you know the Neville community I've said this before the Neville community can be very cultish. It's very like, oh, this is exactly what Neville said. And you can't go anywhere from what Neville said. And it has to be exact. And it's like, dude, Neville, this was like, at this point, almost like, what, 80 years ago that Neville was alive teaching. I think that we've evolved a little bit, you know, where we can, you know, have other ideas. And my thing is, you guys, the results speak for themselves. You see how Sammy Ingram has built herself up. You see how, like, for me, what got me to even watch Sammy Ingram was seeing how many people 
are like not are successful from her teachings. I'm coming across other people who have used her teachings, not even her. Like that the results speak for themselves, you guys. And just for me, using her consistent, like persistent affirming and and really like saturating my mind, that has created shifts for me in areas of my life that I've been trying to shift for a long time. And it's been creating shifts very quickly. So I had to come on and tell you guys, but what I will say though, in conclusion, is honestly, you guys, I would combine, I would combine all three. Because sometimes, you know, now some like I said, Kim Velez, Kim Velez speaks to you in a way where she's like, I've been through this and it's okay. Here's what you need to do. Sometimes you need that, you know? And like real if y'all know, you're not gonna get that from Sammy. <laughs> you're not gonna get that from Sammy. Sometimes you need a little soft spokenness, you need a little this, whatever. You know, the affirmation tapes that Dylan James, why not? You're sleeping, put them on anyways. You know what I mean? It can't hurt to put that on anyway. It definitely and and Dylan James also is correct. You do want to be feeling yourself. You do want to feel confident. You do want to feel like a bad bitch. You do want to feel like you're the best shit popping, you know, but if you're a person that has trouble detaching, you know, detaching when you're, um, you know, as you're going throughout the day and you can't just set it aside and just wait for the tapes to work, continuously tell yourself the new story. Make it as outlandish as you want because when that shit happens, y'all, I'm telling y'all, I've been manifesting stuff instantly, manifest like my my manifestation game has like 10 times better so i had to share with you guys but anyways i love you guys i guess i'm gonna record one more video maybe i'll make a tiktok i don't know but um i will see you guys in the next one and yeah subscribe like all that good stuff